Amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Ali Boy from Tapas Revolution and today I'm going to show you how to cook a paella style rice with sausages, ribs and cauliflower. One of the endless combinations that you can have on a paella and more importantly this recipe is coming from my latest book, Spanish Made Simple, that you can find in any decent bookshop or online. And without further ado, let me run you through the ingredients. We're going to need some saffron, a Spanish onion, tomatoes, garlic, Spanish paella rice. I'm using a bomba varietal in this particular rice, cauliflower, extra virgin olive oil, table salt, pork sausages, pork ribs, and a light chicken stock. To make the most out of our saffron, make sure that it infuses over low heat with your chicken stock for about 25 to 30 minutes while you prepare all the ingredients. We're going to start by separating the ribs. You can ask your butcher to cut those for you. You can buy them sometimes separate, like spare ribs. Will do very, very well. And I'm placing my paella pan, which in this case I'm using a clay pan that I love over the highest heat with the extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to brown the meats first so that they brown and caramelize which are the sausages the pork ribs as well as the whole garlic cloves now I'm gonna start preparing while that cooks the cauliflower for which I'm going to pull the outer leaves if there are any that are stale remove them or just trim any parts which have gone off or they are too deteriorated and with the help of a knife I'm going to separate the florets of my cauliflower as well as roughly chopping the stock which will give fantastic flavor chop your onion and as you can see this is what we will call an arroz bruta you know a rough and ready type of paella full pack of flavor but there is nothing fine about it Make sure you constantly turn each side of your ribs and the sausages so that they caramelize properly. The more they brown on all sides, the bigger the flavor that you will develop. When the garlic cloves are nice and golden and soft, we're going to set them aside. I'm using a little chopper in where I'm going to blitz it later with the tomatoes. And I'm going to add straight away my cauliflower florets and the chopped stock as well as the onion. And I want to brown that really well. So probably another 10 minutes it will take me until everything is really well browned. On the meantime, roughly chop the tomato and I'm going to blitz it all together with the garlic. It's sort of comes a little paste and now since my meats and my veg are all nicely brown I'm going to make a little hole in the middle so that the oil runs down I'm gonna fry the paprika for about 15 seconds and I'm going to stop it from burning by adding the blitz tomatoes and garlic fry it for two three minutes until it has formed a paste and the oil is starting to separate from it like when you cook a curry and the spices and the ginger and, and the garlic start separating and I'm going to add the rice at that point I want it to sear and get that sort of pearly texture on the outside add the green leaves of the cauliflower and now I'm going to pour my saffron infused light chicken stock bring it to the boil Cook it for about eight to nine minutes on high heat and I'm going to put it into my preheated oven at 250 degrees for the remaining eight minutes. As I am using a clay pot, it will retain the heat for probably three minutes longer than just a normal frying pan or cast iron. So bear that in mind. But the total cooking time should be approximately 19 minutes altogether. Let me give this a try. It's really hot. Mmm. Quite simply a spectacular. And this is just one of the reasons why paellas are so incredibly popular. I mean, to me, they are the best one pan dish there is out there. This will feed a family of five. It didn't take so long. And all with ingredients that you can find in your local supermarket. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you give it a try. Remember the recipe. It's on my website as well as plenty of the Spanish ingredients that you can get them delivered to your home. Otherwise, you can buy 
my book and find not just this recipe but another hundred more online. All the best, familia, and see you again soon. Adios. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it, and subscribe.